Hi, we're here with uh, Tilia Labs and George Pollockman. We are going to be discussing what uh, Tilia actually offers the print industry. Hi George, thanks for speaking with us. What I'm interested in finding out is the value that you are proposing to uh, a classic print operation. Yeah, well, uh, we love D-Scoop uh, and the digital like, kind of transformation that's been happening. Uh, what we're seeing in the industry right now is a lot of short runs, uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, just packaging applications where you're getting more and more SKUs, uh, not as many, uh, obviously not as long of runs. And the challenge that we're seeing right now is how do you manage batching these things together? How do you manage automating that process of, uh, you know, order entry to uh, like imposition out to press? So at Tilly Labs, we're all about trying to optimize material, optimize press time, and look for smarter ways, smarter layouts, smarter impositions uh, that just end up saving money, saving click charges, saving material, and saving time. So uh, there's a, a few competitors that are in the space that are doing similar kinds of things. What well, one thing, one thing that you know, differentiates you for, uh, from uh, your competition? Yeah, the main thing that is different about Tilly Labs than any other traditional imposition tool is that Tilly Labs is all based on cost. So we use some AI algorithms underneath the hood that are looking at things like the cost of your equipment, the cost of your setup time, make ready, plates if you're in an offset environment. Uh, we're looking at things like uh, cost of uh, material, click charges, right? All these different things. We're teaching Phoenix, our, our imposition AI, uh, uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, we're using that cost as like the determining factor for what is a good imposition or a good layout. What kind of skills are required within the shop for it to be a success? And how do you support those people who are responsible for making sure it runs? Yeah, so what's really fantastic about our product is that we also develop it with a very uh, user experience uh, kind of oriented approach. So we make it very simple to take things uh, like technology that you're already using, things like CSV files or uh, like reports from your MIS system uh, to drive our solution. So rather than needing like a lot of uh, overhead with like technical IT kind of resources, uh, we, we make it very simple to just you know, grab your orders, grab a spreadsheet from a CSR, uh, pull that stuff into our program and then get those cost efficiencies uh, through our smart uh, layout and position tools. So, um... Referring to D-Scoop and your experience here, is this your first D-Scoop? This is my second D-Scoop. My first D-Scoop was back in 2019 before the pandemic. Uh, but yeah, this is the second one I've been to. Tell me about your experience with a thousand day gap <laughs> in this uh, meeting all these people. Yeah, for sure. It is so good to be out and about and uh, uh, talking to people face to face, understanding their problems. You get so much more information, so much more like emotion behind what's going on when you get to look at someone in the eye. Uh, you know, you just get a, a better sense of the challenges of the, uh, yeah, just problems that you can help solve when you get to meet people face to face. Well, I have to admit that I like the fist bump and I've enjoyed the elbow bump and stuff like this. How did you feel about actually being able to shake someone's hand? Oh, man, it is incredible. It's so good just to like, yeah, interact with human beings again. One last question. Did anybody hug you when you were here? <laughs> uh, I do think I've gotten one hug actually since I've been here, yeah. So I'm all for it. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, industry hugs are the best. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks. Excellent.